Mr. Hartgrave here, and is Marvel Strike Force actually dead? Is it dying? Is it on its way to the grave? Is it already in the ground? That's what we want to talk about today. Why am I saying that? What is going on? All that and more on this episode. I don't know what's going on here, people. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I know you're going to leave some comments down below. We got some hot takes coming up. We're going to get into what is going on in Marvel Strike Force today and why the game is in so much trouble. Um, what are the signs that we are on the decline here? And why aren't, why aren't things better? Um, I, I feel personally like things have been better, but I'm in the minority. Um, Reddit's on fire because Reddit's always on fire and the community's upset. Uh, we have what some people are perceiving to be game-breaking bugs that are actually minor annoyances. It's it's crazy out there. All right, let's kind of get into this. Let's go over to Reddit. I'm just going to jump off from a Reddit post. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because God knows when we are taking our community leadership from someone calling themselves Philly Cheese, we've really gone down the damn drain. Okay, people? All right, like, look, you can't look to Reddit for the best takes on this game, but I do want to... I do want to comment on this and this mentality is what I see going around. If the people who got all the milestone rewards get to walk away with all these rewards and I don't get the exact same rewards, then I'm a walking away from this game. All right, look, it's not, it's really, all right. Like I got to get away from this thing. Cause this is just like ridiculous. Like this whole concept of, you know, this game being, uh, a competitive game, a player versus player game. It's not true. It's always been fake. And look, the blame lies with the company. The blame lies with Boundless, with Scopely for pushing the player versus player elements of Marvel Strike Force down our goddamn throats for two plus years. This game started off as a cooperative team building game. The player versus player elements were very minimized and they weren't stressed. We were talking like arena blitz was kind of player versus player, but it hadn't really taken off yet. The main focus of the game were, com were cooperative raids, 24 people working together to complete a common goal. And this is the kind of content that I feel this game needs to focus on to get itself out of the dumpster. Because right now what happened in the game, if you, if you've been paying attention, if you know what's going on is this milestone over here, Summer of Thunder, uh, this launched a couple of days ago and people were able to log in and through some kind of inbox exploit trick, I don't know, whatever, lots of people were doing it. Lots of content creators were showing people how to do it, which is crazy. And people were completing the whole milestone in just like a second. Like they completed all their monthly goals in a second. So um, what we're looking at here, and this is what's crazy to me, and this is what tells me that we have serious problems in Marvel Strike Force. This is the conversation. These are the things you're supposed to be doing all month. All month long, you are supposed to be collecting, you know, these Molnar fragments. You're supposed to collect a Cloak of value, Valor, a Helm of Victory, and a Gauntlet of Heroes, okay? And that's supposed to be fun. And I know that's kind of a lie because we all know that this is a predatory mobile game and it's not really designed to be fun. Like, let's cut the shit, okay? We all know that this isn't really fun. But that's kind of the problem. And the problem with Marvel Strike Force is for a very long time, and I don't know if this is ever going to change. It's probably not. Just to be very clear here, I'm not that optimistic. I'm just accepting what this is. I have come to terms with what Marvel Strike Force is, and I try to be very open with my speech on it. I'm not trying to tell you this is, I'm no rose colored glasses here. Doing these things isn't fun. Collecting the Cloak of Valor, the Helm of Victory, Gauntlet of Heroes, people get fixated on because they think they need it, but it's not fun. And that's the problem because if you had any other game, that you play for fun. Like I play Dead by Daylight. You, there are some videos on my channel if you want to go dig them up. I think they are actually way better than the videos I make on Marvel Strike Force, but I digress. Anyways, uh, because I'm having fun, <laughs> I'm playing that game and you have monthly tasks to do, right? Now, if I logged into that game and suddenly I did something or something happened and all my monthly goals got completed, right? I no longer had to do all my monthly goals. All I, I had all the rewards, 
but I no longer got to, you know, go check off all the boxes. I'd be like, okay, great. I guess that's all done now. I kind of want that back. I kind of wanted to do that. I enjoy playing Dead by Daylight. I like the challenges. I like doing the things that it tells me to do to get the rewards. The rewards actually don't matter. I don't even play Dead by Daylight for the rewards. Like some people get fixated on that, on that game even when they'll be like, I need blood points. And I'm like, why? It's just, you just have fun. You just play the game for fun. People don't play Marvel Strike Force for fun anymore. And that's what's become so evident to me that it's either some kind of addiction. And if it's an addiction for you, please get help. I put a link down at all below all my videos. Some people use it. Some people tell me they use it. That means so much to me. I'm so glad it's out there. Um, we try to raise awareness about that. If you're, if you're hopelessly addicted to this game and you really need help stopping, do that. If you're not having fun, Stop playing the game. Like literally these people that were able to collect this and able to get all these rewards. Um, there are people that are jealous of them for doing that because they don't want to play this game either. And I'll tell you right now, there's an exploit. There's a trick you can use so that you don't have to play this game this month either. You can be just like them. Uninstall the fucking game. Okay. I mean it. If, if this really bothers you this much, it's probably a sign you need to uninstall the goddamn game because I'm not pissed off one bit that I didn't get to instantly complete all this stuff. I'm going to complete all this stuff and it's going to be a pain in the ass and it's going to cost me sleep and whatever the fuck else it does, because that's what I do. And that is what I've, you know, resigned myself to. I'm going to be here till the end of this game and I'm in it for the experience. No matter how shitty it is, I'm going through it. Right? So I'm getting these rewards. I whatever. Now, I guess what the complaint is, what the fear was, which is ridiculous too, because I'm going to counteract that as well right now. I'm going to give you my counter argument to the people who think that, okay, well, they're going to get double rewards then. And first off, I don't think that's the case. Now, if this is, if this is true, let me know or false or whatever. If you want to argue with me, that's what the comments are for. But my understanding is the people who already beat this, who already completed this only have access to like this one where you can, where you can rank. So they only can rank and they'll only get like this 1 million gold. Like, here you go. If you got 20,000 points, you get a million gold. We all have it. But I think the people that already completed it, what they would see is they'll have this event and it'll all be completed. Now, if they actually get to complete this again, which I don't think is the case, but even if they did, I still wouldn't give a fuck because this game is not a competitive game. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you how not competitive this game is. There's, there's in-game proof that this game is not competitive, okay? This game is a goddamn farce uh, when it comes to player versus player content. And thank God, because it's pay to win, guys. This game is so pay to win, it's disgusting. So if this was an eSport, a competitive game, um, what would you be doing? Because look, money wins the game. You can just spend your way through it and fuck the offers even, okay? This is where the real players go. The real competitive players go in here. They go to this $99 power core offer and they buy that shit 10, 12, 13 fucking times, okay? That's what's going on in this game. You will never win. You will never be number one unless you have a couple million to your name, okay? Do you have a couple million to your name? Well, then you can't win Marvel Strike Force. Calm the fuck down and stop worrying about what's happening to other people. Worry about your own account and your own enjoyment. Are you enjoying the journey? And that's what's important. Nothing else is important. What other people get in their accounts, what fuck up happens that they get to take advantage of. Look, someday it's gonna be you. They fuck up like weekly, daily. Okay, they're always fucking up and eventually their fuck up is going to benefit you. So maybe this time it didn't benefit you. Maybe next time it will. The end result, though, is that we are getting compensated. Okay, um, and not the million gold. The million gold is, is, is a fucking joke. I'll agree to that. Um, I'm not happy about that million gold on there. Like that needs to be 10 million gold on that milestone. But this calendar, on the other hand, is pretty good. And this is stuff we wouldn't have gotten unless they fucked up. And I don't know. Some people like to say they pull this from rewards later on and they and then they short us on other things. And you know what? If they do that, fuck them. They shouldn't do that. 
I don't really believe that wholeheartedly. I think this is stuff that they've held back and that now they're giving to us. Like, especially these Agatha shards. The Agatha event wasn't very friendly. Um, it was hard to get Agatha up in stars. So giving us the Agatha shards now. I would say these should be Echo shards, quite honestly. I still feel like this game owes me 100 Echo shards. When new characters come out as a veteran player who tries his fucking hardest, I feel that I should get four stars on a character. So when that doesn't happen, I check that into the deficit box and I go, you bastards owe me 100 Echo shards at some point. And I would have hoped they would have given to me here. That's not what happened. But this compensation is... It's pretty great. Um, I mean, yeah, the gold thing is ridiculous. Like 1 million gold ain't shit in this game. You got to add a zero, maybe a couple zeros onto the end of that for any of us to bat an eyelash. But here it is. Uh, this is the compensation. It's a startup tonight. If you're watching this on YouTube, the day it drops. And uh, hopefully that'll be the end of it. And and guys, look, it's not a PvP game. It's, it's player versus company. Okay, it's it's you versus Boundless. They want your money. The goal is to get as much fun out of the game for the least amount of dollars, okay? So those guys spending, you know, thousands of dollars a month, they're all losers. I'm just going to tell you right now, you've lost. You're playing the game on easy. You're not even enjoying the fucking game, okay? You're just giving it money. I don't know why. Doesn't make any sense to me. Me, I give them zero dollars. I actually earn them. I earn income off this game, and then I donate it into other areas. I'm fucking Robin Hood. I'm the Robin Hood of Marvel Strike Force. All right, let's get into this. Let me show you why this game is so absurd right now. We got a Cosmic Crucible event running, and can you see what's going on? Can you see how this is not a player versus player game? Okay, we're all in this together, and this is the kind of thing I like to see. Thank you so much. Uh, Fibonacci for for helping the community by helping us all get our points for this event that's running. This is what we need to do. This is what war should look like to people. Just pull those defenses. Fuck back. Okay, if they want to hand us shitty events with unreasonable goals, we need to fuck back. We need to remove our defenses. We need to do things on a community level to help each other. He exploited the game. He was able to complete the milestones for free. Good for you. You fucked back, man. You are my fucking hero now. Like, that's what we need to do to these guys. Not be like, they got something and I didn't get it and I won. Fuck you, dude. Shut the fuck up. He won. Good for him today. Maybe tomorrow I'll win. Who knows? But yeah, it's not me versus you. I don't know how many more ways I can say this, but I don't, I don't want to push you down so that I can succeed at a game where the stakes don't fucking matter. There's no prize. There's no money at stake here. This isn't an eSport. There's nothing going on here. There's no real winning. God damn, most of you don't even tell the people you live with that you play the fucking game. Like, what is the point of any of this shit? Like, have a good time. Focus on your own enjoyment. And if your enjoyment only comes from the displeasure or the penalty of others, fuck you. Why are you, why are you in my community? Like, let's come together. Let's do things like this where we all work together to fight back against the systems that they're putting in place to dampen our fun, right? Like, I'm having plenty of fun in Cosmic Crucible. I don't need you to attach arbitrary points to it, put weird fucking rewards on it. Just give me a game that's enjoyable, and I will come back daily, hourly. I will play the game. When Scourge is running, I'm playing like six hours a day, and you're not giving me anything for it. You're just making a good experience. That's what you need to focus on, Marvel Strike Force. Drop the predatory tactics. It's been four years and you're not left with that many people. Let's take care of the ones that are left. Let's stop fucking over everybody else. All right, let me go ahead and do these attacks now. <laughs> I usually do Cosmic Crucible attacks and I normally don't do these kind of like opinion pieces before I do them. But, you know, I, I kind of thought like I'm like today, I kind of had this feeling that I was going to come in here and see nothing but hand teams because of what was going on. And uh, sure enough, there it is. And, you know, the more you piss off this community, the more this this kind of stuff is going to happen, guys. Uh, so guys down there are Boundless. I know I have. I got my fans, guys. Um, it took long enough, but people down at Boundless are paying attention to my content now. Um, if you want to be heard, um, I would stress joining my Discord. Uh, we're doing a lot of stuff in there. We are trying to improve this. I don't, this isn't a 
totally negative video. I'm not trying to burn the game down, uh, contrary to popular belief. That's never really been my goal. If they want to be predatory, if they want to be shitty, yes, at that point, we need to burn them down. If they want to work with us, right, then they've got to make some changes. And uh, I think they know they have to make some changes, quite honestly, because revenue's down and player engagement's down. I mean, when you got people pissed off, literally pissed off that they have to play the game, you got issues. People out there, they don't want a 100% raids. They think it's unreasonable to 100% a raid. How fucked is your game if you have a majority of your player base telling you they're like, I think it's unreasonable for me to complete content. It's just unreasonable for you to assume that I even want to play your game long enough to be good at it. Like, what the fuck, guys? Like, I know that this is par for the course with mobile games. They are minimum viable products. But I also know that when this game started, when Marvel Strike Force started, this wasn't the goal. The people that originally made this game, um, I don't know how many of them are left on the team at this point. When they originally created this game, you can tell they had a lot of love for it and they wanted to make something that was an actual video game. And from time to time, they'll talk about it like that. They'll think that's what it is. Um, they've lost touch with the community and we need to get them back. We need to get back on the same page together, guys. And, uh, you know, some things need to be done. There should be a warning when you load up the game that alerts you that, you know, this game's free to play. A lot of, a lot of games have this now, by the way, in the mobile market. This game's free to play. It does have microtransactions. If you're having an addiction problem, please contact this. Like, that's just number one. Like, let's cut the shit. This game has loot boxes. This game has FOMO tactics. This game has all that shit. Like, let's work from a position of honesty about it. There's, I'm not saying the game isn't fun to play. Man, I've been playing it for four goddamn years. There must be something here to enjoy. But... We need to fix the core mechanics of the game, the honesty levels of the game, and we're getting there. Some things are changing. Thankfully, we're not abusing players with blitzing, overly blitzing people. And you can always say, well, they don't have to blitz. Some of us have to do everything. And I think maybe that is some of what we're not understanding. I, or maybe we understand it, but we don't care. I don't really know where the disconnect is, but... It's, it's good to know for everybody involved that some players have to do everything that's set out in front of them. The gambit rates came down and my alliance was happy just doing difficulty six on them. We could have done difficulty seven. We could have pushed through difficulty eight. We could have kicked people out of our alliance and made it happen daily. No problems. Could have done all that shit. We decided to be healthy and just run the D6. A lot of people up in the top of this game spending the most money literally cannot do that. They see difficulty nine and they have to go to difficulty nine. And then if they can't complete it, they get pissed off. Like we have to understand the psychology here. Everybody involved needs to understand as much as they can about what's going on here because these are new horizons in gaming that haven't been explored before, right? This is a new kind of experience that I know when I started, I was taken for a ride on. You know, I didn't know what this would involve. Uh, the warning signs were there that this was going to be more than just like a, a casual experience. I think the first big tip, as I've said many times, is when you go to install Discord, you know something's going wrong, man. When, I, when I'm now, I'm making, uh, you know, connections with 23 other addicts who are playing this game, something's weird. You know, something's gone wrong. Warning. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's, it's been quite a ride with Marvel Strike Force. I don't think that it's ending tomorrow. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think this game, this game is struggling. Is it dead? I don't know. Is it going to end tomorrow? Not at all. But it's definitely having some player engagement problems. The core experience is lacking. Um, it needs to be more enjoyable because when you have people complaining, literally complaining that they have to play the game, which is what this is. I don't want a 100% raids. I don't want to have to participate in the monthly event. Some other people don't have to participate in the monthly event. So I don't want to either. Like it's crazy. 
It's full crazy, guys. Um, and once again, not our fault. It's the game company's fault. Not our fault. I can't blame the players for this. Um, it's the game company. They failed to make the experience engaging for us, and that's why we are the way we are towards this game. But I think we can understand that that's what's happening. And I think that as a community, maybe we can calm down about this. I don't know. Maybe that's absurd for me to say as a man that has done so much complaining about Marvel Strike Force, he's become notorious for it. But uh, on the same note, I've always been straight. You know, when the game is being awful, we will call it awful. When the game is being less awful, we will say that the game is less awful. And right now, in my eyes, the game is less awful. It's requiring less screen time than ever. Are they going to bring it back? That's my concern. I don't want to see it come back. I don't want to see garbage screen time come back. And screen time at the end of the day isn't really the issue that people make it out to be. Because if you're having fun, no one's going to complain about screen time. Dude, I'll play a game for eight hours a goddamn day if it's fun. You know, that that's really the issue. I think people just are really looking past... Marvel Strike Force isn't fun, and that's the problem. People are enjoying Cosmic Crucible. It came out, they said that this is a, an early release, early access, they're going to make some changes. No communication about what's going on on it. I'm very curious what's going to happen to this game mode. Going to make sure I use my Unlimited X-Men. Uh, to get points for the event. I mean, is that the improvement? Now we're requiring it for events? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going to fix up the scourges by removing the ones that were problematic to code. So that's good. Right? I, I don't know. I don't know. And it's very interesting that this game mode is... I, I perceive this to be a flop. I think Cosmic Crucible full flop. Nobody cares. I can't make Cosmic Crucible videos. I can't just tell people, I can't tell YouTube, honestly, that this is a Cosmic Crucible video because not enough people search for it. Not enough people look for it. It's not that maybe you, you might even, you might enjoy my Cosmic Crucible coverage, but it won't end up on your front page unless I call it something else. And boy, I'd really have to call it something else today because the way this is ridiculous right now, I'm fighting hand teams for fuck's sake. This is what we got to avoid. Marvel Strike Force is this shit. Like, events shouldn't be like this. And I don't mean prevent us from, you know, being gamers. I don't mean shut us down from putting hand teams. I mean design your events better. Design your events to allow the players to play the normal way that they play. I think that's very, very important. Um, so many times in Marvel Strike Force, the events are pushing players into playing the game in ways that they don't want to play. I don't normally buy four war attacks. Oh, well, now you have to, motherfucker. There's an event. I don't want to do that. And it feels bad. And that, that's why people are happy that other people are beating it. And, and they have to still go through it because they don't want to do that. I don't want to buy all those war attacks. I don't want to spend my cores that way. You have to allow the players player agency. And you have to build your events with player agency in mind. So the what, what, the easy solution in my mind for this is have events be either or. Either do Cosmic Crucible attacks or do Arena attacks and have those points count for the same. The same amount of engagement in Arena or the same amount of engagement in Cosmic Crucible. And then those players that want to really love your game and do both game modes can finish the event faster. And that would be healthier. And those are the kind of changes that I want to see happen to this game. And that's what I feel is going to combat this kind of um, anger that, that's towards Marvel Strike Force or apathy or unwillingness to participate in it. Um, it's going to go away if you allow the players to play. People like aspects of the game. I meet very few people who are like, I love Blitz, RTA, Arena, Cosmic Crucible, War, Scourge, Tower, Pocket Dimension. I love all of it. I love every single game mode. It is great, actually. That's no one. So you have to allow for player agency if you want your players to be happy because you have players who like certain aspects of certain game modes 
when you force them into certain game modes or playing certain game modes in very hardcore ways, you're going to turn people off. You're going to piss people off. It's going to become a very unpleasant experience. And then you're going to end up with the community that we have today. And that's what's been going on for four years. So I don't know if it's ever going to change. Uh, but here it is. Man, I feel bad now. I actually won that round. This guy was nice. He pulled his defense. I'm sorry, Fibonacci, for, for winning that. I, I I didn't mean to. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm apologizing to other players for beating them. That's, that's how not uh, player versus player I am. Anyways, trust me on that. I'm Mr. Hargrave. We'll be back again tomorrow, maybe even with some real Cosmic Crucible defense. I don't know. Probably not. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And Grave Diggers, keep digging.